Do you often feel that whenever you try to study, everything feels so complex? Learning feels extremely boring because the topic you are reading does not go into your brain. Also, there are so many distractions around you that when you try to focus on a complex or even simple topic, you fail to understand it. The little bit of concept that your brain stores while reading is so volatile that you forget it quickly after you stop reading. Learning is indeed a difficult task, and people often struggle with it. There are multiple reasons for this. One common reason is the use of ineffective study methods. Simply reading or passively absorbing information may not lead to a deep understanding. So in this video, I have come up with the best study technique to solve this problem. This is called the Feynman Technique. I will explain it to you in such a way that you will surely thank me after watching the whole video. So don't miss out on any detail if you want to completely solve this problem for the rest of your life. Before moving on to the detail, let me briefly explain the Feynman Technique. It is extremely simple and highly effective technique that works in four steps. But the core principle is that if you want to understand and retain a complex concept, make it so simple and teach it in a way that even a child can understand it. But the question is, how can you do it? Certainly you can't do it easily. Also, it feels like a dumb idea. Here I can promise you that Feynman technique is definitely the answer for your problem. Actually, you don't have a proper understanding of this technique. Let me tell you, you are at the right place to find the solution. Make sure to watch the full video and as I have explained it in a way as simple as possible. Without wasting more time, let's understand each step of this technique. The first step is to choose a concept. Select a concept or topic you want to understand. Choose, for example, a tough topic, a topic that you hate to read and don't even care to learn about because such topics are very technical and not easy to deal with. Believe me, they are like introverts who pretend to be tough, but if you try to explore them, you realize that they are soft and cute and easy to get along with. So all that is needed here is your intention to choose. Once you choose a thing without fear, it removes the first difficult step, which is hatred and intentional neglect. And now your subconscious mind forces the analytical part of your brain to become familiar with the topic. Your brain is choosing to make it a friendly memory. Second step is teach the concept to someone else or yourself. Choose a friend, a sibling, or a junior student. You can choose yourself. Now try to teach him or yourself. There is no need to memorize it. Just read it and try to explain it in as simple a language as possible. You know that you or the other person have zero knowledge about this topic. So you don't take it to heart, and by doing this, your confidence goes up. Your brain comes into action because now it tries to analyze it in a way you have never thought about. When you teach it in small portions, you are saved from cognitive fatigue, and learning becomes so much more interesting. Now your brain can digest the concepts easily. Brain activity in visual, spoken, and analytical memory centers increases multifold. The third step is understanding. While teaching, pay attention to areas where you struggle to explain clearly. These areas represent the gaps in your understanding. As a quote says, identifying a problem is the first step towards solving the problem. So after finishing teaching, turn to your topic, read, and re-teach yourself to fill these gaps. It will increase your understanding, which will help you retain information for longer. The fourth step is to review and re-simplify. Once you've covered your weak points, review the topic again. Then try to make your explanation more simple. The goal is to express the concept in the simplest terms possible without losing accuracy. This step not only reinforces your understanding, but also ensures that you've mastered the material. The Feynman Technique is effective for several reasons. Teaching a concept requires a deep understanding of it. This approach actively engages you with the material and forces you to break down the information into simple terms. When you attempt to teach a concept, you often discover areas where your understanding of concepts is weak. This process of teaching or explaining improves clarity and helps you identify and fill knowledge gaps. 
Also, teaching requires recalling and organizing information, and this process strengthens your neural pathways associated with learning and memory. So all of this practice improves your memory retention. This is all I can offer.